Sorry, sweetie. It's stuck. Can't go any lower than that. Is that right? Yep, there's actually a funny story about that. But... I forgot what it was. Every problem in this park has a story. The park makes do with what it has, Eve. We're resourceful that way. One has been resolved. Over. 10-4. Fill me in on the details. Uh, the reports ended up being at 10-56. He was stumbling around when I got there. Stopped discharging his firearm as soon as he saw me pull up. No altercation. But he didn't need to take a breathalyzer for me to know he was wasted. He's in custody. only paperwork. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Ernie. I'll be pretty late, so you... <laughs> Wait. You still with the porcupine? Tell them, girl, we already miss her moods. Hope those two lumna campers have a good dental. Shut your mouth, Hernandez, or else it's gonna be your fat ass who needs the... Just have that report on my desk by tomorrow. Jeez. You know they're just trying to get a rise out of you. Why do you always take the bait? Because if they actually cared about their jobs, they'd be a not that it matters. It's not everyone, Eve. They're who? The campers? Because I can show you some rocks and trees. That kind of stuff doesn't get fixed overnight. Neither did his fractured jaw or your suspect. What happened to you? You used to be such a cute cadet. What? I'm not still cute? It's that attitude of yours. I remember when you were energetic and determined. Be like that again. That out of me a while ago. Then let's see if we can cram some of that back in. By a transfer? By a change of pace. You'll love the meadows. It's a little chilly this time of year, but you can bundle up in the cabin, which you'll have all to yourself, by the way. You can thank Ranger Smith's gin habit for that. And the camping population? Don't think you're clever. We used to visit Tuolumne every summer when I was a kid. I know they have a campground there. It's mostly hikers and mountain climbers right now, since the roads just opened. But I'm sure they'll come piling in as it warms up. I expect you to do your job. Great. More babysitting. Remember what you signed up for. Trust me, I do. Or I did before I realized the park was just the public's dumping ground. That's why the National Park Service exists. 
We can't protect every square inch of land, but we can manage parts of it. If only. For most of these people, the parks are just toll roads. They pay to get drunk for a few days. They'll sit around the campfire and talk about how much they connect with nature and maybe even write poetry about it. And then they'll leave the fire smoldering, forget to pick up their trash. Well, that's why we're... That's why we're here, right? That's our... But who are we protecting it for? The same people who are... And where's the justice in a job? here. Not too small for you, is it? Another station nearby, but they mostly oversee boring bureaucratic stuff. They'll leave you alone, but you might have to hand out permits if they're ever out for lunch or something. Do I have discretion? Not a chance, sweetie. Knowing you, you tell them to jump in the lake before ever letting them fish in it. as I thought it'd be. Maybe Ranger Smith liked chugging windows, too. Not unless he snuck back recently. So jumpy! It's just the cabin settling. This place is old, so it's gonna be... Kind of spooky. Not really. Some of the past rangers stationed here always said it was haunted. Our tax dollars. Just be happy we're not privatized yet. 
question. When was the last to shoot? <gasps> About a year ago, I guess. An off day for you guys, maybe. I'd kill to just have one weekend off. Uh, I didn't mean like... <laughs> anyway, also known as... Fancy. This actually does... Count on the DOI to have their priorities straight. <laughs> Still, this is a bit... Eh, it's just a precaution. Hopefully you never have to use it. It's not like everyone is asking you to carry it around on patrol, which I- Can I do that before sunrise? So I don't have to talk- Absolutely not. I will not allow you to be a weird forest hermit under my watch. You need to have some pop- Away. I'm scolding. Shh. <laughs> oh, my God, buddy. What are you doing here, Pop? Huh? Are you lost? Get away from that! Shoo! Shoo! Get out of here! Get! <laughs> what the hell? He wasn't doing anything! You scared him! Good. Maybe it'll stay away then. Don't give me that look. Orphaned Coyote Pup started coming around the camp, and Smith, in his infinite wisdom, decided to feed it. Don't! I didn't say anything! But you thought it. And if you have... I'll lecture you another day. Before Hernandez eats all the yogurt. You love dirty jokes. It's nothing. I'm You're going to do fine, sweetie. Yeah, until I bust open the next guy. Hey, don't think like that. I didn't vouch for you because I thought you you're a good ranger, Eve. If more of us were like you and cared more about what's around us, this will be good for you. If you can straighten your so try to have some fun. Okay. And besides, I'm just a radio call away. And Eve, you're wrong.
Oh, hey, are you on break too? Wanna hang? Do you know how many people go missing out here? Well, what? I said, do you know? I, I'm... Enough. Y yes, ma'am! Do you know how much paperwork I have to do? Is it... Yeah, a lot! Let's just say it's more work than you... Do me a favor and stumble back to camp, okay? I'd rather... Go on, you heard me. Sure thing. Sorry for the I won't. <laughs> Decided to come back, huh? Couldn't resist my charm. You're an unbelievably giant twerk. I might seriously die. <laughs> I usually offer coffee first. That did you do? What did I tell you? You're trespassing on federal. This is my post. We do not concern. We? Leave 
us to our... Yeah, I'm pooped. No! As much as I'd love to... Uh, are you trying to reason with a bench of a Do you have any idea? That isn't my problem! Basic instinct prioritize. Basic instinct skip written over by basic training. So Just shut up, okay? If you stay here, then whatever Not another step. Get away! I thought they taught you goons better than to go around and point these things at people. And if you do, then make sure they're loaded. Did they hire you out of pity? them long after you've returned. Yellowstone? Yeah, boss? Wanna tell me why the lights are back on? Well, because I flipped them back on, duh. I can see that, but why? Because the jig's up. She's not buying it anymore. See? She's already getting ready to flip your lid. I know you're eager to take my home away from me again, but let me... No! Not okay! How about you? do to you I can Zion sweetie can you keep the fluff ball ah. hey boy One. I grew a new stick for you please like it This was a disaster. No small part thanks to your lack of commitment. I was tired. Oh, we've done this like a million times. It's the pits. We do it because it works. That last guy rarely stepped foot in here after we gave him a good scare. So, they really did think it was haunted. 
That's because it is. Now go away. She's different. Dollface over there put up a fight. I don't like her. You don't like nobody. She's Snoopy. That's kind of why I like her. Well, I'm glad you feel that way, even if it's incorrect. Lemongrass again? Please, and don't sneak sugar in it this time. Will somebody give me some answers? Now, will one of you tell me who exactly? Oh, is that all you wanted to know? Hi hey, don't tell her our secret. Cool ya jets. I'm just going to tell her who we are. My name is Eve. I'm a... I work here. Howdy-o, Eve. Nice to meet ya. In case you didn't catch it, I'm Yellowstone. This oyth angel is Zion. She's a cutie pie and I love her lots. Love you lots too. And then there's Yosemite. She's like our big sister. I love her So, are you each... No. I'm Yellowstone. This is Zion. And this is... So... Sure, that works. All right, I'm... Huh? But why? I told you no one would understand. I don't know how you're pulling off these magic tricks, but... Let go! Do you just not believe us? I don't believe you. I don't... What if I can... Don't bother. Just get your painting in the... Thirty sec I'm back in a jiffy. Back in a jiff. Wait, yellow. <laughs> Brain made of mush? That I can make her believe, duh. Does she look well to you? I was here? <laughs> no, but. Listen to me. What if something happened? What if she got lost or hurt? What would you have done then? Or worse? What if something had happened to you? There's a reason I try to keep us hidden. 
You know what they're capable of. Of course, that's all out the window now. Guess I messed up pretty bad again, huh? I think you did a good job, Yellowstone. Looks like someone's sleepy. Mm-hmm. Get her ready for bed while the human and I negotiate. Okie dokie. I'll be right there to tuck you in. Might even tell you that story about the swallow you like so much. Swallow story? I don't remember that one. No, of course. Why would you? You alive? Just leave me alone! Relax. I'm not actually going to eat you. I don't care! Well, you're in luck, because I have a truce to propose. I'm listening. To get right down to it, you're exhausted too. It's been a long day for us, so how about we let you sleep here for the night, and then, in the morning, you can call your supervisor and send us on our way. You think I'm dumb enough to fall for that? In the time it would take to strangle you, I could read half of an entire book. Why waste my time with it? Besides... Look, just take the olive branch. I'm trying to play nice. I'm not going to get a bullet to the face while sleeping. Only Neanderthals use guns. I think you're proof enough of that. And I get the bed? I guess there are sleeping bags around here. So what do you say? Do we have a deal? Or is this night going to get even more? You've got yourself a deal, but you're out of your first thing in the morning. It can't seriously be morning yet. Rise and shine, Eve who works here. Catch all your Z's. Uh, they must have slipped through my fingers. Or out of your mouth. When you aren't... Yellowstone, T. Just a jiff. Want me to replace the bag? It's pretty much water now. Don't be wasteful. There's still some flavor left. Fine, fine. How about you, Eve? I saw you chugging coffee last night. Bet you take a black, huh? 
You seem like the type of cat who takes a break. With a little sugar, actually. Dang, thought I had it. Oh well. Up a squat! I'll get you a cup! Squat a... a what? She means sit down. No can do. I have my job to take care of. Patrolling, permits, calls. Tattling on us. Priority number one. Later, just breathe in that fresh morning air for now. I'm making flapjacks. Yay. Don't worry, cutie. I'm making you a veggie omelet. Will you use the mushrooms I picked the other day? I can if you go get them for me. Remember to wash them. Don't cry to me when your stomach starts growing fungus. Some sugar or sugar. No! Oh, my flapjacks! It's not polite to stare. If we freak you out that much, you can turn around. Or leave. That would work too. You'd like that, huh? For me to leave you alone so you can just keep mooching off this place. Are you expecting a no? All the other goons always ran off to the outpost down the road as soon as they caught wind of us. Only ever came back if they had to get something. And never alone. Well, I'm not like the others. Thank God. It doesn't take much to scare the apathy into them. But not you, huh? I'm open to suggestions. What's that? Official report to the head goon? Journal. Sorry to disappoint. What kind of journal? For documenting information? Studies? Just a journal. I use it to wring out the last few drips of... And boy, oh boy, do I need that. Suppose I should be proud of you, though.
After all, how many of you suits actually know how to write? You think we're dumb? I think you're uneducated. Look, I'm not wild about my co-workers either. Glad we're in agreement. But give us some credit. Or at least give me credit. You know what a school is, right? Something I assume you didn't go to? <laughs> no. For me, school was years worth of crap I had to sludge through to even get a sniff. And was it worth it? Popular opinion is a giant no. It might be if people cared, but they don't. And even if I thought it was, if those people are the ones I'm protecting this land for, nothing will ever make it worth it. Wow. I was almost expecting something insightful. Don't like the answers? Don't ask the questions. It's not the answers that bother me. It's the rotten little mind behind them. You two can duke it out after breakfast. Time to chow down! Like it? Yeah, it's sort of amazing. Uh, how did you even... I'm basically the chef around here. And the maid, and the dishwasher, and the laundry -er. <laughs> You could say that I'm a jack of all trades. Master of them, too. I'll say. What did you even put in this? A <laughs> trade secret. It's brown butter. No fear! Well, whatever it is, it's delicious. Thanks. You really mean that? Thanks? Uh, yeah. I was just planning... Whoa. Oh, smoke. I didn't think he coupled it. That gives me an idea! What if Anne stay with me here, instead of us leaving, or you leaving, or anyone leaving, what if we just live together? Absolutely not! Like last night? But every night. Just give it a think. We already have a solid setup here. We could keep the place nice and tidy while you're wage slaving away all day. I'm only here because it's my job. Last I checked, Woodland Sprites aren't on the payroll. The pancakes were good, but I'm still radioing this in. Aww, I thought it was a pretty good idea. <sighs> Stop scaring me like that. I've had more than enough of Miss Misery. Yosemite knows a lot of neato places to hide. We can just trust her to take care of us like always. We'll be back soon. She won't last long. It's the eyes. They're almost as dull and lifeless as the others. The flapjacks are gonna get dull and lifeless if you don't eat them soon. I was reading that? Now I'll have to find my place again. Too smart for a bookmark? Smarter than you.
It ain't a big dealio. Your Brainiac butt has read all those books at least 50 times by now. It is a big deal. You'd be surprised by how much you don't pick up on the first time around. Or how much you forget. Too bad Eve isn't sticking around long enough for us to use her credit card. You could have ordered tons more books. And groceries. More fresh veggies, please. I'm sorry, what? Just be happy you goons are useful for something. They usually cancel the card after the first couple charges. Um, I'm gonna croak from hunger. Please stop teaching her your second language. Sorry, sorry. You want spinach on it, too? Mm-hmm. Don't cook it with butter, though. Too much MSG. Huh? Are you sure? I want you to have enough energy to go hiking with me later. I don't think so. After you're done here, there's a whole lot of cleaning up you have to do. Give me a break! I just swept the other day. And now the kitchen is a disaster zone. Clean before we leave. Maybe things wouldn't get dirty so quick if you actually rinsed your dishes. What was that? Yeah! Uh, nothing, Chief. tear yourself away from it for more than five seconds. It's not. Just some accounts from a miner that passed through these parts a long time ago. But it helps. With your research? You want to tell me how you know that? You have a folder that literally has research written on it. it wasn't hard to put two and two together. Look, it does math. It does facial reconstruction, too. I knew your snooping would be an issue. Don't get your yoga pants in a bunch. I didn't actually see anything. Gotta say, though, I'm curious what someone like you could be researching. You're curious? Why? It's just... Can I get some personal space here? I don't want to catch your personality. My curiosity is waning. Shut up. <sighs> you see Yellowstone's head? How could I not? What does it look like to you? What does this have to do with any... Just tell me what it looks like. A volcano? It looks like a volcano. And can you guess what has a volcano? Yellowstone National Park, obviously. But volcanoes don't actually look like that. You're not going to get anywhere with that kind of linear thinking. And look at Zion. No, this isn't coyote food. It's not good for you. See those leaves and branches? Pretty lush, right? Sure. Remind you of any particular painting. Wait, are you saying... Starting to get it? Yeah, the three of you like playing dress-up. Real cute. It's amazing how you keep finding new ways to disappoint me. Let's try this again. Are you giving me permission to slap you? I'm giving you permission to learn. Now touch it.
touch it, not to caress it. Jeez. Ah! You didn't have to be so rough. Is that rock? Well, it sure isn't costume jewelry. Yosemite National Park. Now you're starting to get it. Finally. Just, what are you? You don't know? That's the winning question, isn't it? Do we not know? Or do we just not remember? I can do without the cryptic crap. It's anything but! I'm telling you what I know. And what I know is that I'm Yosemite. Just like they know how they're Zion and Yellowstone. Okay, sure. But how do you know? How do you know that your stomach rumbles when you are hungry? Did someone have to explain the concept to you? How long have you known? I don't know. Have you always known? I don't know. Do you know anything? If I knew anything, I wouldn't be trying to figure it out. These fragments that pop into my head. Bits and pieces of a language I don't know. Faces I don't recognize, but seem familiar. And whenever I think I've figured it out, and it's on the tip of my tongue, I forget. They're like echoes that ripple further away with each new epiphany. It just gets quieter and quieter. It's so frustrating. But if I can figure out just what we are, where we came from, then maybe, maybe I can finally remember. So yeah, I don't know anything, but I'm going to. Well, good for you. Friends of yours? No. God, no. A day on the job where I don't have to deal with those hell spawn tracking their carbon footprint in here is a day well spent. <laughs> That's what I thought. And what, pray tell, did you think this time? That I was wrong about you. Last night, I could have sworn I saw some conflict swimming around in those dead eyes of yours. Sniffling in the corner, crying about just how tired you were. The only conflict last night was you three. Of course I'd be tired. Why do you care? Because I'm tired, too. Tired of you people prioritizing that ranger image, so people don't realize you're actually hired thugs. You're just one branch on a tree that doesn't even care about you. 
A bureaucratic arm I'd rather see cut off than fester. You're not here to educate. You're not here to preserve. Not unless preservation looks like a permit. No. You're here to protect the bottom line. To shake people down when they just want to get away from the hell you've created. To make sure there's enough resources intact to vacuum money up when your masters come calling. I've seen your type before. You don't care. Putting on that dumb hat just makes you think you do. You're right. Maybe I don't. Maybe caring got too hard. Maybe it wasn't worth the pain it caused. There is one thing I care about, though. Getting you the hell out of here. I'm radioing this in. Go ahead. Do it. Prove to me you're just another... A fever? A fire. Don't move! You'll make it worse! It's... close. <laughs> oh no. Not good. How far is it? Get her to the couch. And what- But Eve, we can- Put it out! I'm doing what- What do we tell you, man? He gets it. He didn't do it on purpose. What the hell? You! I, I want- I, I, I... Get out of the way! Before you're... All of you, get away from here! Move it! Come on! To Illumine Station, this is Ranger Adams. We have a... <laughs> to Illumine Station. So that's happening. What are you doing here? Eve! Here you are! We're here to help! We? You can't do this alone. I told you two to stay at the- Miss Eve, if this doesn't get put out soon- Fine! But as soon as things start looking- Gather up as much snow as you can and dump it- Ma'am, yes ma'am! No good. We need to get- Wait! I have an idea! Save it! Yellowstone, you know I love you lots- Of course I do! Love you lots too! Uh, I know! Which is- huh? How could I ever hate my Earth? A <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Good. You're doing great. I hear you loud. Yellowstone. <laughs> Is it? 
looks. Yellowstone! I'm so proud of you. You did really good out there. You were so. so, boss. That's how you say it, right? Gee whiz. You really think so? You did pretty swell out there, too. How is some quick thinking? Miss Eve? Thanks for the help. But you two need to get back to the cabin. Where are you going? To snuff out another fire. Before it spreads. Take it easy, lady! This is assault! Oh my god, do you know how un- Yeah! Almost- What was rattling in that skull of your- That's- Listen here- I said- Do you know how sick I am of this? Does it even register- what gives you the right to burn? Answer me! Tell me I'm not just a bandage for you! I was just trying to start a campfire with a cigarette, okay? That's enough, Eve. You've already chewed them out. They were just about to leave anyway. Would you do that? They're just going to call. Thank you. I needed to hear that. What? You've done enough, at least for today. I just wanted to protect what I love. You're a fool. <laughs> but maybe we need more fools. <sighs> Just listening to all that gives me a headache. How on earth did you find so much trouble on your first day? I guess I just have a penchant for it. But still, to just stumble on a fire like that. Well, in any case, I'm just happy you're safe. We got awfully lucky with this one. With all this wind, you better believe we did. It could have been an even bigger pain in the neck. A pain in the neck is still a pain in the neck, Eve still going to be sore when you're hunched over all that paperwork. Yeah, I'll see if- You'll have it for me the next time I visit. Maybe if you're nice to them, someone at the other station will transcribe it for you. But, are you sure there isn't anything you want to tell me? Not a thing. Hmm. Okay then. In that case, I'll talk to you tomorrow. And the day after that. You really don't have to. Oh, but I want to. Over and out, Jesse. <laughs> Over and out, Eve. Arnie, get your grubby hands off my trail, mate! I knew it all along. You're just a soft serve softy. With the cherry on top. The pitted kind, maybe. Careful. If you bite down, she'll crack your teeth. Zip it. Or next time I'll actually let you burst into flames. It was just a fever. I would have been fine. Eventually. Like that makes any sense. 
What if there's an actual campfire or lightning strikes a tree? What happens then, huh? What did I tell you about linear thinking? If this truce is going to continue, you're going to need to expand to the abstract. Your existence is plenty enough abstract for me already. All right, everyone, listen up. If you're bunking here, I want this place to stay immaculate. Last thing I want to deal with after clocking out is a pigsty. Yellowstone will handle it. She can start cooking for one more, too. That's so mean, guys. How can you just sell me up the river like that? Oh, that reminds me. What are you going to do with those campers, Miss Eve? Flip their lids? Make them apologize? And take them out back? Have them pinky swear not to do it again? None of the above. I'm letting them off the hook. If I'm lucky, they'll get picked off by a killer in the woods. Otherwise, everybody gets one free pass. Now that's funny. What is it this time? For someone who doesn't care, you sure put a lot of energy into it. when Leif Erikson. That's a little too far back, Yellowstone. Oh, Columbus and his pilgrims, then. I don't think that's quite right, either. It's a good guess, though. The National Park Service actually has its roots in the years following the founding of the United States. In 1790, after getting permission from Congress, President George Washington obtained land near the Potomac River to build a new capital city. This city was named Washington, D.C., and the plan was for it to have a lot of really pretty parks and monuments. Like the Lincoln Memorial? A little too soon. But you're on the right track! These places were called the National Capital Parks, and they laid really important groundwork. Whoa, so the Park Service is old as dirt, huh? Not really. There's still a ways to go before the actual Park Service. What happened? I thought you read the book. I did! But without pictures, all those words just make me so drowsy. Oh. Well, I guess I can explain. If that's okay. Knock our socks off! I I'll try! For a long time, most parks were run by different groups. No one really thought about preserving land until people started looking to settle in the West. I remember what happens now. A whole bunch of hippies got misty-eyed and started thinking about how they could keep the land from getting stomped on. One of whom was... George... Yeah? Harrison? No... Uh, Kathleen! George Kathleen! Phew! Yay! Good job, Yellowstone! George Catlin was an artist and writer. He lived with Native Americans and was one of the first outside of their tribes to paint Plains Indians in their day-to-day -day lives. While he was kicking back in South Dakota, he realized we'd be in a lot of trouble unless humans put their heads together. Not unless... By, By some, some great, great protecting, protecting policy, policy of, government, of government in a, in magnificent, a magnificent park. park. A nation's, a nation's park, park containing, containing man, man and beast, and beast in, in all, all the, the wild 
sweetness and, and freshness, freshness of their, of their nature's, nature's beauty. beauty. We're almost to my favorite part! It's my favorite part too! Because in 1861, the United States Congress appointed the geologist Ferdinand Hayden to lead an expedition to the Yellowstone region of Wyoming. Hey, hey, hey! That's me, that's me! Uh-huh, and he thought you were so pretty that when he came back, he asked Congress to make you a national park! Aw, he should have gone further south if he wanted to find a real cutie. Anyway... It was in 1872 when President Ulysses Grant finally signed a bill that set aside 2.2 million acres of Yellowstone as a public park. So if you think about it, you're the first national park. Jiminy Cricket, I'm old as dirt. The Antiquities Act of 1906 made it possible to protect more areas as parks and monuments, but they were run by different departments. It was confusing. So on August 25th, 1916, the National Park Service was founded. Ah yes, the best holiday after Arbor and Earth Day. It would take a while before it got the power it has today. Execute Executive Order 6166. Yay! You remembered again! From then on, everything was under strict control by the Department of the Interior and they've been yanking our chain and screwing us over ever since. You sound like Miss Eve. It's scary. That's because I heard her grumble something about it earlier. She talks a mean jive, let me tell ya. Woo! Would you look at that? We're all out of time! Catch you next time, campers! And remember to love our parks!